Every year, due to energy losses, more than 10% of the world's electricity production doesn't reach the end user. Why is this? Because today's electrical energy is produced and distributed in the form of alternating current. In alternating current, the electron flow changes direction rapidly, thus moving around close to the surface of the conductor and leading to excessive waste heat. With direct current, the electrons only flow in one direction and penetrate further into the conductor. The conductor is used more efficiently, it heats less and there is less wasted energy. So the good question is, why wasn't this option chosen earlier? The answer is simply because the technology to transmit electricity over long distances in the form of direct current was costly. Today, the cost of energy is being questioned and engineers are working on modern, cost-effective, high-voltage direct current solutions, HVDC. At the core of this technology are ultra-high performance converter stations, which transform high-voltage AC into DC. The electricity is then transported as direct current via high-voltage transmission lines over distances of up to several thousands of kilometers. Another converter station at the other end then transforms the DC back into AC, which is then fed into the distribution grid. With HVDC, we can transport up to five times more electricity on conventional high voltage lines while reducing energy losses. This section shows how we convert three-phase AC into DC by running it through a six-pulse rectifier. This is simply three sets of full-wave rectifiers joined in parallel. We have used different colours for each wave. Think of them as red phase, blue phase and yellow phase. You can see this diagram now shows the three sets of full-wave rectifiers joined in parallel. We will now run through each pulse in turn. The first pulse conducts the positive side of red phase. The second pulse conducts the negative side of blue phase. The third pulse conducts the positive side of yellow phase. The fourth pulse conducts the negative side of red phase. The fifth pulse conducts the positive side of blue phase. 
and the sixth pulse conducts the negative side of yellow phase. This shows the pulses all coming together in sync. It also shows the firing sequence of the valves. Note how in this animation we have introduced the firing angle alpha and commutation process. This explains the concept of how a 6 pulse rectifier converts AC to DC. Although Transpower uses 12 pulse mode, the same principles apply. In a similar way to the 6 wave rectifier we discussed earlier, a 6 pulse inverter converts DC to AC. You can see this diagram now shows the three sets of full wave inverters joined in parallel. We will now run through each pulse in turn. With pulse 1, you can see red phase on a positive pulse on the increasing side of the sine wave. Yellow phase is on a negative pulse on the decreasing side of the sine wave. Blue phase is not conducting. With pulse 2, you can see blue phase on a negative pulse on the increasing side of the sine wave. Red phase is on a positive pulse on the decreasing side of the sine wave. Yellow phase is not conducting. With pulse 3, you can see yellow phase on a positive pulse on the increasing side of the sine wave. Blue phase is on a negative pulse on the decreasing side of the sine wave. Red phase is not conducting. With pulse 4, you can see yellow phase on a positive pulse on the decreasing side of the sine wave. Red phase is on a negative pulse on the increasing side of the sine wave. Blue phase is not conducting. With pulse 5, you can see red phase on a negative pulse on the decreasing side of the sine wave. Blue phase is on a positive pulse on the increasing side of the sine wave. Yellow phase is not conducting. And finally, with pulse 6, you can see blue phase on a positive pulse on the decreasing side of the sine wave. Yellow phase is on the negative pulse on the increasing side of the sine wave. And red phase is not conducting. You can see the pulses all coming together in sync to invert. Transpower uses solid state devices called thyristors as rectifiers and inverters for the conversion of high voltage DC to high voltage AC and back again. The thyristors operate in 12 pulse mode, which gives a smoother and more efficient conversion with less harmonics. The HVDC converter station being used by Transpower consists of a total of 792 individual thyristors. Siemens HVDC Plus, the smart way, one step ahead. The growing world population, changing lifestyles and mushrooming megacities call for more energy and particularly more electric power. But how can we bring enough power right into the hearts of our vibrant cities? How can we supply affordable electric power to oil and gas platforms? And how can we connect considerable amounts of regenerative energy sources to the grid? There is in fact high demand for innovative and highly efficient power transmission solutions today and in future. HVDC Plus from Siemens is one such advanced solution. It uses modular multi-level converter technology, featuring easy scalability, a space-saving design and very low EMC and noise emissions. HVDC Plus is highly reliable and economical in the power range of up to 1000 megawatts and above. 
Owing to its one-of-a-kind design, HVDC Plus is outstandingly compact. An HVDC Plus converter station consists of gas-insulated switchgear, standard AC transformers, advanced control and protection system with superb interfacing capabilities, for offshore applications, the innovative Siemens seawater cooling system, and a unique modular multi-level converter technology. The converter of HVDC Plus consists of three phase units. Each phase unit comprises two converter arms, each with a converter module and a converter reactor. Each converter module houses a large number of power modules connected in series, up to 200 or even more. Each power module contains two IGBTs as the switching elements, a DC storage capacitor, and the power module electronics. The number of power modules is redundant to ensure the proper operation of the system even in case of component failures. The multi-level design of the Siemens HVDC Plus converter reduces the losses in comparison with conventional two- and three-level voltage source converters, and it provides perfectly sinus-shaped AC voltages and currents, as well as smooth DC voltages and DC currents. Conventional two- and three-level topologies generate rectangular waveforms of high and steep voltage steps. This is downright noisy and stresses all components. Extensive filtering and smoothing measures need to be taken to obtain a sinus waveform at the AC terminals. Siemens's unique multi-level topology works with a high number of switching steps. The result is a perfect waveform, very close to the desired sinus. That means no harmonics, much lower acoustic noise, and much lower EMC levels. Less component stresses, lower losses, and no need for AC smoothing and filtering. HVDC Plus uses XLPE cables for a sub-C DC power transmission. The unique modular design of HVDC Plus reduces planning, engineering, and construction time and effort considerably and it's straightforward scalable. It makes HVDC Plus easily adaptable to given local conditions and permits particularly space-saving or low-profile converter buildings. Reactors and switchgear can be installed both outdoor and indoor. HVDC Plus is fully suitable for point-to-point -point DC transmission, either with DC cable or with overhead line, for a back-to-back -back configuration, and for multi-terminal systems. Moreover, active and reactive power can be controlled independently. Whether for system interconnection, as DC integrated in the AC system, or for power supply of megacities, HVDC Plus from Siemens puts you one step ahead with advanced modular multi-level technology. That means compact and flexible station layout, low space requirements, scalable system design, robust, durable, and well-proven standard components, outstanding system availability, low maintenance and service requirements, fast and cost-efficient planning, construction, and commissioning, high dynamic performance, stabilization of weak AC networks, low losses in comparison with conventional two- and three-level voltage-sourced converters, independent control of active and reactive power, supply of passive networks and black start capability, and STATCOM features. Whenever you're looking for a way to transmit up to a thousand megawatts of power right to where it's needed, HVDC Plus is the ideal solution. Siemens HVDC Plus, the smart way, one step ahead.